Hey guys, my name is Rachel and I'm going to be doing a tutorial for you today using the Naked 2 palette for my eyes and it's going to be a 1960s Jean Shrimpton inspired tutorial. So it's going to be, as you can see, a very dark heavy eye and it's going to have a neutral pink lip. So I hope that you like it and let's get started. So we're going to start with the face. I've already prepped my skin with a moisturizer. I use the Ole Henriksen Sheer Transformation and we're going to begin by concealing. I'm using the MAC Select Cover Up. It's in the color NC20. I'm just going to do it right under my eyes. Next we're going to do foundation. I'm using the Makeup Forever HD foundation and I'm using it in the color 123. I'm going to be applying it all over my face with the Haku Hodo foundation brush. Now to make everything even more matte, I'm going to add a translucent powder. I am using the NYC Smooth Skin Translucent Press Powder, and I'm going to be applying it with just a puff. It's a, a Laura Mercier powder puff, but anyone will do. Now I'm going to be adding a little bit of highlighter. I'm going to be using Benefit What's Up Highlighter, and I'm going to apply it right underneath my eyes above my cheekbones. I'm going to apply it right down the bridge of my nose and I'm going to apply it right in my forehead and just a little bit on my chin. And I'm going to be buffing all this in with a Giorgio Armani foundation brush. It is number 13. I'm going to hold down for a count of 15. Her look is all about the eyes. So I'm going to be using two coats of mascara. I'm using YSL. It's a waterproof mascara. The links to everything will be below. I'm going to apply starting and really concentrating the product at the lash root and carrying it through the ends. So I'm going to be using my Tweezer Man lash comb just to get any clumps out and separate the lashes so they'll be ready for my next coat. So I am using the Naked 2 palette by Urban Decay. It's got a lot of really pretty neutral colors in it. So I'm going to be starting with the color Foxy. It's the lightest one over there. It's a really light but warm neutral shadow and I'm going to be applying it with my MAC 239 brush and I'm going to put it all over my lid and a little bit above as well. I'm going to be applying the color Tease. It's a taupe color. It's got a little bit of purple to it and I'm going to be using a MAC 219 brush to apply it right in the crease. I'm going to concentrate the color on the outside and I'm going to carry it all the way over and I want the line to be pretty defined. I'm not going to buff it out that much because the, the crease color was usually pretty defined in 60s makeup. Now if you want a more dramatic effect, you can darken the crease color. I am going to do that with the color Busted. It's kind of a darker version of Tease, but it's got some shimmer. And I'm going to go over my crease with that, with the same brush, just to deepen it a little bit and, and to emphasize the look a little bit more. I'm going to be doing a typical 60s liner. I'm going to start really narrow on the inside of my eye and then on the outside of my eye it's going to get thicker and curve up just a little bit. I'm going to be using a gel liner. This is the MAC Fluid line in the color Black Track and I'm going to be using a Hakuhodo. It's the number K007. It's just a really thin eyeshadow or eyeliner brush. Now I'm also going to be applying the gel liner into my lashes from underneath. I'm going to be using the Polydor Eye Transformer brush and I'm going to be pressing it right into my lashes.
And I'm going to take the gel liner and I'm going to apply it underneath of my eye all the way across. Right into the lash line. We're going to smudge it out a little bit. I'm using a pointed Q-tip and I'm just going to smudge it and also press it up into the lash line as well. I'm going to take the color Blackout from my palette and I'm going to use a MAC 208 brush and I am going to apply this right over my liner. I'm using the number 110 lashes and I'm applying a small strip of glue to the entire thing and I'm going to let it dry for just a few seconds and I'm going to apply it right to my lash. Now that my lashes applied, I'm just going to give them a quick, another quick curl so that they kind of mesh with my natural lashes. Okay, my final step with the eyes is I'm going to apply a light liner right on my lower waterline. I'm going to be using the Revlon Photo Ready, um, and I'm going to be using, it's got a purple on one side and a white on the other. I'm going to be using the white all the way across. Now I'm going to be using the Anastasia Brow Powder in the color Brunette, dark brown, and it's I'm going to be using the Hakuhodo S163 Eyebrow Brush. I'm using the lighter of the two colors, it's a taupe color. Now her eyebrows are pretty full and pretty much the same width all the way across, so I'm just going to be carrying this. I'm going to take the brush up and down a little bit on the inside, but not very much just don't want a ton of product. My eyebrows are pretty dark as it is. Okay, now we've got our brows done and we're going to be moving on to blush. I'm using a Giorgio Armani. This is a sheer blush. It's in the number 10 and I'm using a MAC 168 brush. I'm moving like a circle motion. I want to focus it on the tops of my cheekbones. I'm going to start with a liner by MAC for my lips. It is called Naked. It's a really light nude color. And I'm going to apply it all around the edges of my lips. And I'm just going to kind of blend this in to my lips. I'm using my finger. and. I want a little bit of color, not much. So I'm going to use a pencil by NARS. It's Roman Holiday. And I'm going to apply this all over my lips. And I'm going to kind of rub that in as well. Okay, so for our final step on the lips, I'm going to apply a gloss. This color is NARS Turkish Delight. I'm going to apply it all over the lips. And we're done with our lips, and for my final step, just to set everything, I'm going to use some La Roche-Posay Thermal Water, and I am just going to spray it all over my face, just to set everything. Okay, so this is our final look in the 1960s Jean Shrimpton inspired Naked 2 palette tutorial. So I hope that you guys really enjoyed it, and I hope that it's something that you find wearable. So have a great day.